At this point in the semester, it's important to define what an equivalent system of loads is. We've talked about two different kinds of loads, forces and moments. A system of loads, loads is any set of loads that can come together in a single problem. And it's important to be able to say, this is the same as that. We did this a little bit with the principle of transmissibility. If you're going to slide a force along its not line of action, <clears throat> you know that it's not changed the substance of your problem, as long as you leave it on the object. But we actually want to come and define what equals means. Somewhere along the way, somebody told you that 2 plus 2 was equal to 4. They probably did that early enough so that you didn't actually stop and say, well, but have you defined what equals means? I mean, that's kind of one of those things you do in philosophy class. We actually do want to tackle that at this point so that we've become, so that we can deal with two different systems and identify this is the same as that. Two systems of loads are equivalent if and only if the sum of the forces is the same, and the sum of the moments taken at the same point is the same. And that has to hold for any point in your system. So the general um, steps for solving one of these problems is to find the sum of the forces and the sum of the moments at some point A that you've picked for system 1, and find the same sum of the forces and the sum of the moments at the same point A for system 2, and then set them equal to each other. So for example, I have two beams right here, a blue one and a green one. On the blue one, I have a 6 newton load and a 12 newton meter moment at the end of the beam. On the green system, I have a 6 newton meter moment on one end and a 6 newton load at a different place on the beam. I need to know if these are equivalent as far as the equations in statics go. Can I replace one with the other? Now, the sum of the forces here is 6 newtons down, some of the forces here is 6 newtons down. So far, so good. But if you pick a point, I get to pick any point I want. So, for example, if I pick this right pin, when I sum the moments on this side, I get 6 newton meters counterclockwise. When I sum the moments at the same point at the right pin on the green system, I get 18 newton meters counterclockwise. Those are not the same. So a problem might ask you to do something like find an additional moment, m, to make these two systems the same. Or perhaps I want to find entirely what the forces and moments are. That's the kind of problem you end up with with equivalent systems. So just to check, the sum of the forces here is the same in both cases because I added a moment and not another force. If I take, again, I can take any, any point I want. So I can sum the, left, sum the moments at the left-hand pin for the green beam and the blue beam. And here I get 18 plus m, and here I get 30. So I need to add a 12 newton meter clockwise moment to make them the same. You can go back and double check that the sum of the moments at the right hand pin here and here are also the same. It shouldn't matter which point you pick. Now one thing I do want to make very clear you see that I say this is 6 newtons down and this is 6 newtons down. It is insufficient to say the sum of the forces is 6 because in this case I have to make sure that I have the same sum of the forces here and the same sum of the forces here. That generally makes more sense to students when I'm talking about forces than when I'm talking about moments. But the moments have to be the same too. When I summed my moments here, I said that 6 counterclockwise was negative and 6 times 4 was going to be a po clockwise was positive in my equation. I have to make the same decisions for both of my systems here. Otherwise, I haven't, I've got two things that don't equal each other. Thanks.